all right guys welcome back this video is long overdue it is my q and a i'm only doing seven because majority of the questions that i got or responses that i got when i did an open poll on my questions um were pretty much the same thing I'm not going to answer those. Those are redundant. But anyway, I chose the seven that I felt like were more interesting than anything. So I hope you guys enjoy and you guys get an insight on me, basically, because I really didn't introduce myself like the way I should have. OK, so I opened up the poll basically on Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. And, like, and it's crazy because in all three of those, they all basically asked me the same thing. And the answer is no. Just no, I'm not going to reiterate what the questions were. Just no, okay? No. <clears throat> so the first question was, where do I see myself five years from now? Um, Pretty much five years from now. I still have two years left in... Sorry, I got a message. This is why I should not have my phone while I'm recording. Anyway. I see myself for one in the next two years graduating from university, the University of Alabama to be exact. Check it. And then I plan on going to med school in California. I would love to go to David Jeffin. David Geffen, I think that's how you pronounce it, or Stanford, pretty much. But that's what I want to do. I yeah, I really need to like put my phone down. But anyway, intend to go to medical school in California, pretty much. Um, after these five years up, I'm actually in the Air Force Reserve, so I do have to owe some time back to them, but I'm not tripping about that because that's money and they're paying for school, so I'm really not tripping. But I do plan to finish up with university, finish up with med school, because I've been in med school for four years, so it's a total of six years, but by the fifth year, I'm, I'll be on the brink, pretty much, of getting ready to go active duty as an officer in the Air Force Reserves. Um, well not any Air Force Reserves because I'm going active duty, but basically you got my point. But basically that's where I see myself in five years. The question was, well, it really wasn't even a question, but it kind of was. It said, you are so perfect. Beyond that, um, I might, I might. Anyway, it says, you're so perfect. I definitely want to shoot my shot. I'm the big dude, I'm about to say the N word, you've been looking for, how can we make this happen? Um, yeah, yeah, um, that's sweet. First of all, for the compliment in the beginning, thank you so much. And when I say this, trust me, I have nothing against big dudes. I honestly prefer my guys bigger than me because I'm already little, I'm 5'4", and I'm only 127. I need me a bodyguard. Um, but I'm sorry we can't make that happen. We can't. Um, and I, I'm, it's just, it's just a no. I'm sorry. It's just a no. You're a cool person though, because I know you, but it's just, no. The next one was what made me do the reserves. If you would have watched my last video, you would have knew why I did the reserves. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so I joined the Air Force Reserves because I wanted financial stability in my life as a 20 year old. Um, going in to the University of Alabama. First of all, that school is mad expensive. And if you go there or know anything about that school, you know it's expensive. So that was one of the things. But my whole thing was I really just wanted to secure my future and my foundation with my finances, my education, and just any other hobby I decided to bring on because it's a sure way of securing everything that I want to do. And also I'm a military brat. My mom retired from the army. My brother was a Marine, but he just switched over to the army. And my uncle was also in the army too. But pretty much it was in my blood so it was bound to happen but mainly it was to secure my foundation it's a sure way they're paying for school i'm getting some lovely money and i'm gonna be set so that's why i joined the reserve they guaranteed me guaranteed me a set future pretty much what made me start a youtube channel i used to run track cheer in high school that stopped when I got to college because first of all, I have PFS in my in both of my knees, it's basically arthritis. So running kind of was out of the question. And also I had stopped conditioning. So I was way out of shape and 
I know people say you never really lose your speed, but I just knew I wasn't at my best and I wasn't going to embarrass myself or I wasn't really just going to go out there and do a half ass job. Pretty much. I didn't want to do that um, to mess it up. And then I got three tattoos. I'm not going to show them all, but that's if you can see that that's one of them. And then I have one on my chest, big chest piece. And then I have one on my leg. It's a lion. Um, I don't think the policy for cheer lets you have tattoos. Like if you have tattoos, they, they won't let you join a squad because the uniform is small and I'm not going to cover up every single last tattoo with concealer because first of all, it's going to ruin my makeup and these tattoos are way too big for that. Um, but basically I started my YouTube channel because I wasn't doing anything anymore. I was just sitting around and I do not like to sit around. So I did this. Starting it with makeup, I started doing makeup, like officially started doing it, I want to say back in 2016 really, like heavily doing it. I just started off with my eyebrows and eyeliner and mascara at first, but then in, I got introduced to foundation and concealer and stuff like that and I just, your girl went way left. But mainly I started my YouTube channel as another hobby and I actually love it. I love it with a passion, like I'm really trying to do big things with this. The next one was, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Well, that's pretty much what this <laughs> Q&A is. I'm telling you about me. Um, okay, but I'm gonna go down the basics. My favorite color is green. Oh, let me, let me start off like this. My name is Imani, obviously. Um, I'm 20 years old. I am a junior at the University of Alabama. I am a pre-med student studying to be a, um, a pediatrician. Eventually, I'm going to own my own practice. I love food, all food, except don't give me squash. Don't give me... I like... Okay, that's too much to go off with the vegetable things. Just, you know, I'm not really big on vegetables, but I love vegetables. Um, but I, I'm going to eat anything, pretty much. I'm a tortoise, so I'm very stubborn. And that goes back to me loving to eat. I love to sleep. I hibernate when I can. I am a full-blown introvert. That's why it's easy for me to talk to this camera instead of real people. Um, fun fact about me. Everything is fun about me. I'm popping. It says, why don't you talk to anyone when you're on campus? I always have my headphones in. Two, I'm always mobbing. And three, once again, I restate, I am an introvert. And four, I just... You know, I go about my business and I just... Whenever you see me out there, if you see me out there, because I'm very incognito... I am always mobbing and going to class and eating and going back home pretty much. Um, I'm trying to do better with that actually. I'm trying to be more social and be nicer because I am very mean. If you know me, you know I am, but you know I'm also very nice. Kind of a contradiction there. I am a sweet asshole pretty much. Um, that don't sound right. I'm nice nasty. We're going to go with that one. Oh. Yeah, we're just going to go with that one because the other one didn't sound too good. But I'm trying to do better. I'm going to do better. I promise you. My last question that I'm going to do, how do you stay so motivated with school? Well, how I stay motivated with anything pretty much, I am one of those people that when I put my mind to something or I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it to the full extent. I'm going to do it big. I'm an overachiever. I have a goal and the goal is literally in the palm of my hand. So for me to just completely stop and give up on it, it's almost like, oh my gosh, you're at the finish line and you just decided, okay, well, I'm gonna go run in the other direction and start completely over or just stop. So for me, my motivation is I wanna secure my foundation for my future family and myself. Two, I've had this goal and this dream of being a pediatrician since I knew what the freak a baby doctor was. That's what I used to call it in elementary school. I want to be the kids' doctors. I want to be the baby doctor. Um, not specifically delivering babies, but I want to take care of kids. Um, the other reason why I'm also very motivated with school is because I'm a big old nerd. I love learning new stuff. I love being able to apply knowledge to things like everyday life things. Like It's just I am huge on increasing my knowledge or sharing the knowledge that I get. So that's pretty much how, why I stay so motivated with school. I have a goal and it's right in the palm of my hand and it's very tangible and I'm molding it right now. And I'm molding myself in the process too. And it's a beautiful thing to be doing right now. So that's the number one reason as to why I am 
so motivated with school. But that pretty much concludes, you know, my q and I am pretty much an open book. So if you guys comment anything, I'm not saying I'm going to answer it. And it's probably going to throw you off because I'm so honest. Like you couldn't tell me something about myself that I don't know. If you're telling me something I don't know about myself, it's a rumor. It's a lie. I am very open about any and everything. Um, only because I feel like the world we live in is just like, you never know who's going through the same thing as you or wants to do the same thing as you. And you could just be that person to help motivate and push them and let them know like, hey, I went out on a limb and just did this. Like right now, it's doing pretty well for me. I'm loving it. And I tell anybody that wants to start a YouTube channel or start anything in their life, just the best thing that you can do is just start. Just do it. Like the Nike sense. But that's pretty much it about me. If you want to know anything else, hit me. In my comments make sure you subscribe because you need to join this family because you're watching this video for a reason and like the video also follow me on instagram underscore underscore imani i-m-a-n-i underscore you can also follow me on my snapchat which is salute underscore mani m-a-n-i and i don't have no twitter i don't really care for twitter but you can find me on there and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you next time Actually, matter of fact, I got another video coming up for you right next. It's a Halloween tutorial, so you need to stay tuned. One more time. I promise you I'm going to let you go. I promise I'll let you go. I'll never let you go, but I'm going to let you go. Bye.